this is something um, uh, I learned very recently, and it's so easy, and I just wish I kn I'd known it. So I often have to uh, create things in Excel where I have to line them up. Now, my typical method of doing this is using the snap to grid feature, but it turns out I don't actually have to do a snap to grid all the way. Um, or at least I don't have to flip it on because there's a keyboard shortcut that will get me there. So I have this um, drag me button. This will be the only time I ever use 3D on a spreadsheet, 3D bevel, just to demonstrate this. So please don't judge me. Now, if I just hold control and I move it around, it kind of it doesn't really constrain me here. And this is sort of annoying because I have things I want to line up, like labels, things like that. I, I'm a big fan of using this text box. So actually, if you hold control and shift, and you drag it right, it will keep it on the same sort of plane. So you see that it 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 requ it um, prevented me from dragging it any which way. So I can only drag it this way to the right, and if I try to go down, it does the same thing. So it's going to line up based off of the grid. And this is very cool. Now, because you can really just line these up, you know, and if you had a race of doing this, you would call it a drag race. Anyone uh, know? Ah, bada bing. You know, uh, <laughs> been working on that one all night. So this is my... Um, Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is my tip. Use that control drag feature to drag along the grid. This is a great item. I'm very happy to have learned it because I've been uh, turning on snap to grid like a chump this whole time. So control shift, remember it. And that is my tip.